Welcome YouTubers. Beautiful day in January. The sun is out. I've got the whole day ahead of me to start to get stuck into uh, documenting this thing. Uh, this is a new purchase of mine. I've a little bit of history. I've been into my Saab since, oh my gosh, um, since I was about uh, 15 I guess, when my um, brother and uh, and father had all 96s. That's my 9,000 aero there, which I've had for uh, about six years now. A fantastic thing. Um, bought as a 420 pound eBay um, MOT fail a little while ago. It's had a lot of money put into it since. Very grubby at the moment. The roads are absolutely filthy. Um, but that is um, running just over uh, 400 uh, horse and has been for the last few years now. And that's my daily lovely piece of kit. So yeah, this one here, the 900 barrel green, um, 16 valve turbo, as those um, clued up with Saabs can spot. A few interesting bits and pieces, the Carlton 16 inch rims, the Carlton whale tail, snow covers, uh, and an unusual color being in barrel green. It is in need of TLC, as you can see. It is not the tidiest thing. It is not the cleanest thing in the world. And it will only be when I get it home shortly, in the next couple of weeks and dig into it, that I'll see the extent to the work that needs doing. But just having a, a little look around it. Typical places, the uh, inner skin of the bonnet is, is, uh, is gone. Hasn't crept up onto the outside yet. They usually are quite often bubble there but the inner has absolutely had it. Um, slam panel and generally the engine bay is tatty. Uh, these are obviously uh, quite famed for the transmission tunnels rotting through. I have not yet got it up on the ramps and had a look at it. I have bought it blind, uh, partly because of the color, beautiful color combination, bell green and the tan interior, which I'll come to in a moment, but also one or two choice goodies. There's a uh, Abbott racing intercooler uh, you might have spotted the um, the aircon as well. Uh, you've probably definitely spotted this absolutely rotten front wing. Um, but yeah, the interior is tidy enough. Headlining, again, typical for aging Saabs where the glue just perishes and it's been sort of stapled and pinned and all sorts of horrible things. Uh, so that's gonna come out. I do actually already have a replacement headliner. Interesting steering wheel, a uh, lacquer peel uh, on it, so that will need to be refurbished. Uh, Nardi wheel, um, bit of a bit of a nice find. The interior, the seats have been reupholstered at some point fairly recently, and they're still in very nice order. So yeah, it's just a case of getting stuck into it really, and uh, the key thing is going to be. Pulling off all of this kit, the bumpers, getting it up in the air and having a look at it. I'll either be met with a load of horrors and a load of rot or, fingers crossed, be uh, pleasantly surprised at how solid it is. But at this minute in time, looking at the outside of it, I'm kind of not holding my breath, if I'm being honest. But we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, I'm happy that another Saab, another nice Saab is being saved, being brought back to life. Goodness knows how long this one's going to take, but it'll be uh, an interesting little project. I I thought I'd run this video as I um, had a couple of projects, mainly Saabs, uh, a little Lancia Delta Turbo as well in the past, that uh, I wish that I had just documented as I was going along. Um, so I thought, why not? Why not make a start now? I'm sure the videos will get a little bit better in quality, rather than relying on my camera phone, um, get a better mic and so on and so on. But uh, yeah, you got to start somewhere, I guess. So I shall keep you all posted. Um, big shout out to Dave at Saab Flight over in Heathfield, uh, cracking chap who I've uh, purchased this car from. Um, uh, has a, a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of experience. And I'm going to continue, I'm sure, to pick his brains over this one as the months uh, run by. Lovely. Take these YouTubers. Take care and I'll post again soon.